Hey guys, we're here today at Poltarch in Aberdeenshire for the Donald Dinny Day The Gathering. We're going to be finding out who will be crowned the Donald Dinny Day champion as well as watching some fantastic Dinny Stone attempts on the main stage. Nickel, yep. Dinny Stone legend. I'm okay. one of the organisers of the, the yep. day, the Don yep. Dinny Day, the gathering. Absolutely. Yep. So, first of all, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and your history and connection to these legendary stones? All right. Okay. So, in 2008, I was the 36th person to lift them unassisted. Right. Okay. And then since then, I've lifted them 441 times. Sorry. 441 times. 441. Yep. Since wow. then. And. Uh, that's over a 14 year period. Do you want to tell us a little bit about this, the, right. the, where, where this came from? and you're Because this is this is your creation, correct? Well, well I, I, this is my creation. This, this started because I, I had it in my head that I was going to walk a bridge with Denny Stones. Okay. Right. I had these two stones and because they're like, I thought I'd just them. Because they're the same pickup. Yes, right? same height, right. Okay. So, but then unfortunately I hit a wall. I got to about 305 kilos for about 800 feet. Right. But I knew after that, Nothing was progressing, and all okay. I was getting was more dishevelled. It was one of those things, my missus saw me doing it, and she was like, what are you doing? And I knew myself, I just needed to tell her to say, stop. I want to stop, you, can you want to carry on, but I knew I wouldn't get it, so... It just, that's the thing, I, I keep stuff for that, but then I found an old thing, the IHDF, yes. over here, yeah, right? yeah. And he said, oh, why don't we use the training stones you've got as an event? Yes. So that's where it came up. We to just call it the Nickel Stone. So that's how it came about. And now we've seen them at well, Giants what, Live. Giants Live. Yeah. That was was that last year at Giants uh, Live. It was last year and two years. Uh, last year and at Allerton Castle before as well. And we've also seen them in Scotland Strongest Man. Scotland Strongest Man. Final yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So these, these have their own legend then. Uh, they are. They are. Yeah. They, they, look, this is a Scottish thing. Am I right in saying now that you're one of the official judges for the yeah. attempts? Well, I am the official judge for the attempt. I've judged uh, over up about 130 lifters. I'm the one that moves the stones for them and sets them up, and I'm also the one that, if you're struggling out, you, that's the rule to begin with. If I tell you to put them down, put them down. That's it. Because I've seen a few injuries here and I just know. The more you do something, the more you see people's form, yes. you know yourself. So I know myself, 
a big college on like that, someone's a way to crack. And you just know. Yeah. So you know, you can almost tell now by looking at their starting point, yeah. how they're pulling, yeah. whether it's going to go well I or not. I 100% yeah, I 100% know. Because there's I, also safety, like that's what yeah, you're Yeah, but I don't about. think there's ever a failure here. It's just that you didn't lift it. This Dinny Stone day is seen in about 10 different countries. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have people contact me from every stretch of the globe. I'm here with uh, Stevie Sharks, a uh, Dinny Stone legend. Father was the first person to... Father was the first person to lift the Dinny Stones in 1972 and the first person to carry them in 1973. What about your own history with the Stones? Because you've lifted them. Okay, well, I have uh, indeed. Yeah, so, 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 so it kind of goes back to my family. You know, I was always the musician in my family. Right, okay. You know, um, Dad had done this and it's been going on for years. And I was about to turn 50 and I thought, I couldn't mind getting in better shape. But it was so like, hold on, you didn't attempt them until you were... I didn't start training until I was turned 50. Really? But the training was initially for bodybuilding. I just wanted to look better on better, stage. Right, okay. Yeah, my drummer, you know, I used to want a euro. So, so how, how old were you then when you did your first lift then, your first actual lift? I think it was 53. 53, yeah. Uh, See, I thought, personally, well, my, my, my impression was obviously with your father doing it, you'd be yeah. doing it from a young age, but no. you, you, you didn't gravitate towards it. I was always out touring with touring, right, okay, the wow. Roll thing, you know. Wow, okay, it was, okay. It's, become, it's been a passion of mine all my life, anyway. Six, this is the sixth. Six, sorry, this right, is the okay, so six. Six, six yeah. darling, right, okay. You wow. know, and this year I've seen a difference. I felt a difference in it this year. You know, and I can really feel it growing. I can feel the interest growing. <laughs> Here with Red Wired. Okay, do you want to tell us a little bit about what brought you to Scotland? I have always loved um, strength sports uh, for the last eight years or so, yes. and um, I wanted to be in the top ten women to come and lift the Dinny Stones. After seeing my good friend Lee Holland Keen do it in 2018, yes, I knew yeah. that um, it was achievable for women to do. Mm. I knew that it, it would be possible if I trained really hard for it. So yeah, I'd initially planned to come to the gathering in 2020 right, right, in August, okay. uh, and I'd spoke to Stevie Shanks about it, uh, registered my lift, um, and so he said, "Yeah, come over." Then the country locked down, so we okay. couldn't leave Australia. So you've been put in how long? Like a couple of years? Two and a half years. Two and a half years into this. <laughs> yeah. So how did it go today? Let us know what happened. Yeah, I got them up. I got the wind beneath hey. them. Oh, yeah. fantastic! I am over the moon. I feel like Superwoman today. Uh, I couldn't be happier. It's a legendary achievement. Yeah.